Hi, it's Sarah. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad you're here. In today's video, we're going to be decorating here on my cozy front porch for Halloween. Here is a little look at our front porch with our fall decor up. We are going to take some of it down. Some things we're going to keep, but some things we'll take down and then we're going to add in some fun Halloween decor. All our kids are home for school for fall break the next few weeks and a few of them really wanted to help out here with me decorating. So you will see a few of them helping me add in some Halloween decor here on our front porch. I will also be making a super cute DIY ghost that we will be putting here on our front porch, so stay tuned for that. But first, you'll see two of my girls taking down some of that fall decor we have up, and then they're going to sweep the front porch. It always gets so dusty and dirty here where we live, so they're just going to sweep this off, and then we'll get to decorating. All right, we are done. Everything is nice and fresh and clean and we are ready to start adding in some Halloween decor here on our front porch. We are starting over here on this window and we are just hanging up this wood pumpkin garland that I found at Walmart last year. We did have a similar one up here for fall, but we switched it out for this one because we thought it was more Halloween. Here on this bench, I'm adding back in this black buffalo check throw blanket. And then I switched out my other throw pillows for these brighter orange ones. As you can see, I like to go a little brighter here on my front porch for Halloween. We found this fun life-size skeleton at Home Depot last year and his eyes light up. My kids just love him. So we are adding him here to this bench. Here's my daughter just adjusting him. His foot was stuck and she couldn't get it down and she thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Down here in this corner, I'm adding this black table. I found this at Walmart last year, and then I have this black lantern with a candle in it, and this is also from Walmart. Next to that, we are adding this pumpkin. This pumpkin is from our garden, so we are just placing it next to the lantern, and then I have this Happy Halloween block sign that I'm just placing down here at the bottom. Here on the other side of this bench, we are taking this hay bale again and placing it down here at the bottom. This was just from Walmart. And then on the top of that, we are adding in this porch sign that we found at the at-home store last year. One side says, Happy Halloween, and the other says, Trick or Treat. Here by our front door, we are adding back in this black and white buffalo check rug that I found on Amazon last year. We needed a new doormat, so I picked up this one on Amazon. It is just so cute. It is simple and sweet and not too much. It says boo, and it has a little ghost over there in the corner, and I just love it. We needed a new Halloween wreath. The one I had last year was totally falling apart, so I picked up this Halloween ball ornament wreath on Amazon. This was very well made. I love the colors and just the way it looks, but it did have some yellow glue on some of those white ornaments. So I did end up returning this one and they're going to send me a new one out. So hopefully that one is okay because I do love the way this looks. I have this seven and a half inch craft foam ball and I found this online at Walmart. You need it to be a pretty big size and I couldn't find any in this size that I needed so I was happy Walmart had it. So I picked this up 
And then next, I have this white 108 inch round tablecloth and I just found this on Amazon. You can also use a white sheet or white fabric, but this just made it easy, so I grabbed this. Then I have these self-adhesive black felt sheets and I just found these on Amazon and this just made it super easy to make the eyes for the ghosts. We're starting off with this metal tomato cage and I found this at Home Depot. It was $6, so not a bad deal at all. And then next we're just going to take this craft foam ball. This is going to be the head of the ghost. You can see my daughter just squeezing the top together so I can stick that foam ball right there in the top. I have some of these battery operated lights. I found these on Amazon and I'm just wrapping them around the tomato cage. I did end up using two strands. I wanted to make sure it was nice and bright with that tablecloth over it. You want to be able to see the lights through it. So I ended up using two. I did go with a battery operated, but you can easily just go with regular white Christmas lights and just plug them in somewhere. But I didn't want to worry about extension cords and finding an outlet where it's going to go. So I just went with a battery operated. All right, now it is time to put the tablecloth on. We are just placing it over the tomato cage and making sure it is nice and even all around. I'm going to take these self-adhesive black felt sheets I have and cut out the eyes for the ghost. You obviously can use just regular felt if you have it laying around your home, but this just made it super easy. You just cut it out and peel the back off and just stick it on the head of your ghost. You don't have to worry about glue or anything like that. So it just made it super easy. All right, you guys, that is it. This was super easy to make and look how cute this is. Let's take it outside on our front porch and see how it looks. Is this just the cutest or what? I think this is just so fun sitting up here on our front porch to welcome all our trick-or-treaters. I wanted to add a little more texture and Halloween spooky vibe, so I added this Halloween cheesecloth that I had to the top of it and I think it is a perfect last little touch it needed. All right, we are done decorating here on our front porch for Halloween. Let's take a look at everything one more time to see how everything came together. In the end, I will show you what it looks like at night with that lighted up ghost and how cute that looks. So stay tuned until the end so you can see that. Also coming up here soon, we will be taking our kids to a pumpkin patch. So we will be picking out a ton of pumpkins and they will be going here on our front porch as well. So make sure you come back for my Halloween home tour that will be coming up soon so you can see all those pumpkins that my kids picked and that will be going here on our front porch. Halloween in our neighborhood has been always a big deal. Everyone always goes all out and just makes a big thing of it. So it is very popular here where we live. So we are all excited for trick or treaters and to have our kids dress up and just have fun for the night. So we cannot wait. We are all in love with how this porch turned out. I think it is so fun and we are definitely ready for Halloween now. So bring on those trick or treaters. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Me and a few of my girls really enjoyed decorating here on our front porch and sharing this with you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. We would so appreciate it. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We would love to have you. There will be a bunch more content coming your way with the holidays and we are so excited. We hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.